Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Gary Grigsby's War and West. I'm back with more action as the Allies. Um, yeah, we at least uh, made the way or paved the way into mainland Italy. So uh, let's continue. Uh, first of all, try to get some of these guys off the ships. Didn't work. Um... Really? I mean... Oh yeah, it's the air face. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, a bit out of it here. Alright, um, let's take a look. Because as for the ground support, I don't think we're going to be doing that many battles for this turn. Let's put that to low and air superiority to low as well. Do want to try to ground attack the enemy units. Um, I guess the same applies for strategic air uh, let's set the air directives and let's take a look at them because they had been uh, quite wonky a while back just like they are now all right once again strategic air force definitely just going over to this section let's make it an area of three because i really don't need any more than that and same applies to these guys think that I think that is looking pretty hot um, so let's uh, yeah the only one problem is indeed that they have this now I have to move all the other ones as well okay so we move the recon I don't know why they're targeting that middle center but that's definitely not Good, there we go. That should work out. Yes, we are. Nothing in the Mediterranean. I'm not gonna bomb there. Why, why would they even suggest that? So this is looking pretty good. I mean, we are losing more planes than the enemy, but mm, still not too bad. All right. Okay, ground uh, force time. Let's go for Sardinia first. Uh, there are a couple of German units here, but uh, yeah, it uh, it probably won't be too easy to take them uh, down soon enough. Can go up there. You can. I want to isolate these guys, of course. Try to take as many cities as possible uh, as well. I'm going to have to um, destroy a few depots here, probably. Uh, but but we'll see. All right, let's take Olbia, which is the last of the cities that they directly control. Besides this, so that these guys will be out of supply as well. And yeah, let's move you guys over here to make it a bit more difficult for the enemy to move around here. And whatever forces we have, we'll launch a heavy attack. Won't make them surrender at all, but it forces them to use up their ammunition. Uh, so maybe it will have some effect. Let's take that depot. Every port is precious. I mean, these guys probably can't move anymore. Still gonna try and attack here. Six to 14, but we went to four. They went to seven. Halt range is also 1500, so we're actually not that close as you might think. That's a very high halt range. Anyway, keeping your opponent at more than a kilometer of distance definitely means that we're not there yet. Um, yeah, let's repair the rail here. Doesn't really matter where I start, just looking for the fastest way to fix all the rail. So these guys can uh, move up to Italy proper. Italians already surrendered, but still. Um, these guys are prepping, so definitely not looking to do anything there. Repair and move out here. So they're almost done. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. I need to move my units across here and then see how far I can get. Okay, probably in low Cree. Nothing there so far. 
you can move ahead one hex unfortunately not able to cut them off there i guess they are cut off here but they still can get their supply also from Cortone, at least for this turn uh so that would prove to be pretty difficult i am looking to move my units ahead as uh, fast as possible that's you actually do need some troops to put up against uh, those enemy guys there um, okay let's move you so that's for this HQ then we do have the units from this HQ which are also ready to move the airborne division I'm just trying to move up as much as possible here and just take the territory. Uh, that's what seems to be uh, the best approach to me right now. Of course, the tanks are my priority for bypassing the enemy, whereas the, the regular infantry is less important there. Um... Yeah, so let's place at least two infantry divisions up against these guys on that side. That just uh, seems to be the uh, best approach. So 5th British Corps can still take some of these units. There we go, no reason not to put them under core command. And you could probably go a bit further. Yes, you can. Perfect. Um, at this point, I can uh, ship one of these over to uh, those US forces. I think because I can uh, can move over this one hex anyway. It's not really uh, that big of a deal anymore. Let's set a new amphibious target. And I'm actually going to be a bit ambitious and move all the way up to Piombino. And hope there's nothing there. By the time that <laughs> maybe these guys will be ready, I can actually go and, and land there. Um, maybe. Both of these are under army commands, but both British HQs are full. Not enough port capacity. Well, they are British infantry brigades, just like these. Uh, do I really not have another core already? I mean, it looks like I don't. I kind of would have to put it under American. I can do that, I guess. It's better than nothing. No, it's a British Armored Division. Yeah, second, uh, second US it is, and I can still take some here, so these two can also go under the second US core. Uh, they can move quite far here, but not far enough. I'll put them up front. Definitely. Hmm. Okay, um, let's move you up here. I'm gonna put some pretty heavy stacks. Between uh, this city and those troops because if they can fight very heavily push us back and take this I'm in a world of hurt because then all these guys will be cut off so I do need to be secure on my flanks here at least until I have another um, another port of course we have Toronto up there but that's not what what I mean um, yeah let's take a look at the depots and I think after that we'll be done for the turn so definitely for four I guess Catania can uh, turn into a priority one 
soon to be disappearing. Uh, same for Gala. It's no longer useful. Uh, do one the other ones. Let's take a look up here because I definitely don't need this depot in its entirety. And then both of those at three is looking pretty good. This one can go to priority one. And then up here, um, let's have both of these at priority two. And that one at three. Actually, disband this depot. And then you're going to be a priority too. All right. Don't know if there are forces there, but there might be. Um, yeah, perfect. So from here, I can wrap things up. Uh, most of this stuff is uh, just, you know, they're not moving and things like that. So not too bad. We did take quite a bit of territory here. Quite pleased about that. And we do have uh, both sides of the ferry here now. So we actually don't need those amphibious transports at all anymore, I think. Okay, let's see what the uh, the X is up to. Still fighting around here. Even lost. That must be pretty sad for them. They're never going to kick the Italians out of the city. They're just weakening themselves. Yeah, yeah, even if they fire back, you know, the hold range is also 1500. They're not looking too hot. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know why they bother. I guess because they're surrounded, but it's... Maybe they want to be destroyed so they can rebuild it. That could be. And we're done. And the entire island is ours now. They just have the access that they occupy. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Only if the Italians are gone and they are not. That's great. We did get some new units out here. It seems like the 8th Indian Infantry Division. Looking to be quite powerful. These guys are moving up. And we did keep all the Italians, so that's good. All right. Well, the Germans haven't given me quite a bit of trouble with the, the air. Um, I think I'm actually fine keeping it this way. I do want air superiority to be a little bit higher. I'm going to turn off all ground support. Again, I don't think I'm going to attack that much. Just want them to, to keep bombing the units. Okay, let's look at the directives. It, it's a bit better, but not by much. Um, let's set the target out here with a range of four. Range of five. There we go. This is looking good. They don't seem to be in this, this patch anymore. And let's take this ground attack. It's also looking fine. Oh. There we are. I think this recon is looking good. It's for air superiority. I need that to, to be around here. And for you as well. There we are. It's not perfect. But it's good enough, I think. And as I said before, I don't want to waste, waste too much time on this. They are completely cut off. So, I mean, they do get supplies through that port. But besides that, it's not the greatest. So they do have some forces down there still. Hmm. I don't know if I'm too happy about that. Most losses are from air combat, even though they only lost 15 planes, huh? All right, let's just start here. And 
and <laughs> we failed. Try again next turn. We will not win here either, probably, no. Oh well. If the Italian forces survive for one more turn, then I have some more firepower to, to try and do this. Otherwise, too bad. So it's not going to work. No. I, I do know that the Germans uh, get points from this because I'm losing a lot of units, but... Well, just getting rid of those guys all together is worth a lot as well for me, so. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Oh, we till here? Why does it claim I can go there? It's a bit odd. <laughs> Why? Um, okay, they can move to Syracuse and get off there. They have port capacity there. Thank you. It's a British core, so I will start shifting units to that British core in a while. Not this turn. Hmm. Okay, so there's a part of the Panzer Division. Uh, certainly, I will have these two guys guard it from this direction. And cut it off. While the rest of the British forces, at the very least, try to continue. I'm not going to be too worried about taking those guys down for now. Although, I will take all of this. Um, there's a reason why. It's because they have this airfield here. And I, I don't even want them to make use of the airfield, really. Okay, let's get Catanzaro over here. I mean, I can put the HQ out, out here and it's looking pretty good then. Let's go for Cortone. Meaning that the forces which are here lost all ability to, to get any supplies. Excellent. Uh, that's quite the achievement, if I do say so myself. Yeah, unable to move, huh? Okay. Um, okay, I do need a couple of units to block this way and I think because this core is all the way to the back that's probably the most convenient to do so although there are quite a few units that can move further ahead let's just see how far the 6th British Armor Division can go all the way up here not not bad I guess I will then. Yeah, definitely not bad at all. How about you? Okay. Going here allows me to take the airfield, which I think is also good. And now it's, it's just about moving up the rest of these units. Uh, mm. Yeah, let's go. Mm, not from that side. There are a few places. Mostly I want the armor to move ahead as much as possible. But for some of the infantry, I don't mind it if they stay behind. Like here, for example. They cannot move forward too much in some cases anyway. Such as here. But I do want to block the enemy from harassing me. Okay, it's looking good here. Just making sure that all my units have moved. And 
yeah, they're, they're kind of blocked by these horses. Okay. Not bad. I think after this turn, we'll pretty much just link up with this territory here so it doesn't automatically secede back to the enemy. We do need to take care of whatever is in Brindisi or Leke or whatever is in these minor hexes. It's a shame we weren't able to, to link up this turn, but I still think we're okay. I need both of these HQs to go there. You cannot get off of the train, but you can move one more hex. You are not under the arm British or the uh, US army, but under the British army for sure. It's taking care of that. I do want emergency repairs in Cretone. And I'll take care of the depot afterwards. They are prepping since now. Um, uh, yeah, there are still a few things that I need to do around here. Prep 49 is not enough. 54 it is. Okay. Where were they going to invade? 117, 272. One seventeen two seven two. Let's go. They need to destroy these Panzer Grenadier divisions. And as for you guys, they're pretty much on the exact opposite side. So I should let them uh, go as well. Then I have the Eighth Infantry, Indian Infantry Division. Uh, do they have anything special here? Suppose not. Hmm. They are rather bulky. I uh, will send them to Cretone. And not enough port capacity. Ah, well. Alright. Um, that's pretty much it for now. I would say that both of these will move, let's say, up here. Oh, wow. Really? Not enough port capacity, I guess, for the U.S. Army. Um, hmm. Okay, well, we'll have to see whether I can uh, unload them a bit later. I do have the the other HQ here. So we're getting less and less forces around this territory, but we're doing okay. Um, that takes care of all of that. And that means that the only thing I'm going to look at once again is not this, but the supplies. Let's, let's just get rid of that. So, Cretone will get a priority 4 depot, the highest priority. Um, the depot at Catania will be a priority 0 depot at this point. Uh, not a whole lot going on there anymore. Messina is also already going down to a priority 3 port since I do have this one here. I'm moving up rather quickly. Um, I can already start building up Toronto. I don't. No, I want message level one. I think the enemy will not take it. And that's why I'm already building up supplies there for the moment that we actually get to link up. Okay, we do see some enemy planes through the air recon. Hmm. Do they have planes up here or we can't see? Can't see. Ah, well. Ooh, this is, uh, looks terrible. Um, it seems also as if the ground might turn to mud soon. The ground is still clear up here, but it's already a light mud in northern Italy. Well, either way, I'll be... Wrapping up this turn once again, continuing on to the next.
Ooh, this is exceptionally fortunate for me. They uh, linked up automatically. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no resistance. Don't even think about it. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Still putting up some uh, some air attrition. Ooh. Didn't work out too well for them. Uh, if they're just putting in mm, the soft attacks, that that's never gonna work there. I'm surprised they still put so much effort into attacking here. Please don't lose the Italian units. Come on. Oof. Uh, okay, we didn't get any ourselves. Yeah, we still have a long way to go to Rome, though. Okay. Mm, I'm actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm turning off all air support for this turn. Curious to see what the directives will be then. Nothing, and indeed that's also what I'm asking of them. Uh, it will only make me lose planes. For no reason. At least during this turn, I, I think we're good. Just giving the enemy more points, not not useful. Let's go for ground operations. Let's try again. Come on, excellent! Finally, <laughs> they surrendered. After all this time, uh, but I'm really happy they did, though. Ah. Uh, well, they will be a lot more challenging to take down. I will try, even with the Italians, though it's unlikely we will succeed here. 40,000 men against 4,000. They didn't even come close. Same here. Although the odds are slightly less in my favor. Let's try. Come on. With some American forces this time. Ah, much better. I don't think I'll have the opportunity up here, though. No. I'll get them next time. Um, I mean, I, no, there's no attack possible. Where is port capacity? I can try here. I think 30 is not enough though. It is not. Even 44 wasn't enough. Hmm. It's a bit of an unfortunate thing. What I will do, though, is try to move both of these up towards the port of Ajaccio here. And unable to unload. I'll try later. Um, I'll keep these where they are for this turn. I need to send them somewhere after I've gotten rid of the 90th Panzer Grenadier Division. But I'm not so sure yet on where that's uh, that's going to be. I think for now they're fine. And I just need to take care of that there. Okay. Um, you're getting off of the train. Moving across. And start repairing the rail. On this side. And you... 
Uh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the, the wrong way. Let's get off of there. Seems like I don't need that anymore. I'll just send them somewhere safe for now. There's a very high chance that I don't need that, uh, those HQs at all anymore. So I will... I will have to see. Okay, let's see if we can do it with this. And yeah, we did. Great. That will allow me to move further up a bit faster. Nice. And you can't go anywhere. Fine. Let's see what we got trapped here. Quite a feisty treasure, it seems like. Uh, going through here is tough work. But I... Oh, that's, that's the problem. It, it, the armored unit's in there. What? Hey... Unbelievable. I'm not paying any attention. Come on. This tank brigade shouldn't even try to get there. Get out of there. And these guys neither, but I, I just sent them up there for some reason. Uh, I mixed them up bad enough. Both part of the 5th British Corps, which is here. And since you are also part of the 5th British Corps, you might just well keep moving. Um, I do have the new core here, so what I'll do is put you under the tenth. You as well. And there we go. So it's a rather small core. But these forces are going to be tasked with mop-up duty. Over in here. Um, is there enough port capacity up there? Maybe. I'll try. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. Yep, yeah, they can get off. Great. Mm, so there was nothing there. Except the depot. Still good to know. Okay, you're taking care of that. And I actually need this uh, British Armour Division now under the 5th British Corps. I think the 5th British Corps... Ooh, it's terrible. How about the 13th? Also terrible. Switch them up for a bit. Crocker, I can do indeed a lot better. Uh, that was that guy. Then you'll be dismissed as well. I mean, come on, I'm not gonna settle for a for Mac. Hey, this guy, Oliver Lease. Good enough, and then. At the very least, they are both at oh, at five mech, and with five mech, yeah, you're also five mech. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's put you under the fifth British Corps, and the second U.S. Armor Division. 
I'm gonna keep it moving as well under the 13th British Corps. There we go. Let's see how far you can get. So first of all, ooh, you can get really, really far. Okay, I'm going to have to make a decision. So the 5th British Corps is going to move all the way up there. And then the other one is going to go towards Naples. And we'll see how, uh, how that ends. So 5th going all the way up. 13th is going to stay on the lower side. Hmm. That's pretty smart. I'm going to try and bypass that, though. And you're also under the 13th. Going to stay down low. And I will block the way here, though, with these. And you're also part of the 13th. Great. They all catched up. Nice. Then you are part of the fifth. Definitely moving all the way up to Fargia. Ah, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Well. Let's start moving these guys up as well. No reason to keep them down there. Okay. Not bad. So we've taken all of this stuff. And I'm actually mighty pleased about that. Either way, I think all of my ground shenanigans are once again uh, done for this turn so once again i want to thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like comment or subscribe and i will see you on the continuation of this campaign so like i said once again thanks for watching and hope to see you all next time take care bye bye